need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV Cala. Um, I think we said exactly what you said, that you didn't want his jaw to get perforated, but you wanted some sort of chaos. And I tell you what, Lyndon delivered chaos. Heroic act. Heroic act. And, you know, on a show which British television this year, that is the best show you'll see on TV this year. Well, it's a couple of months to go still, but up till now, it's by far the best show. Just go and have a look at those two fights. Lyndon Arthur becoming IBO light heavyweight world champion. Fantastic. Credit to the opponent. Suarez, fantastic boxer. Heavy loaded hands in both. Puts him down, puts him barrage of punches in a round after. Um, but that's what, you know what I said. I said it's not just about winning. When you're on terrestrial TV, it's an advert for yourself, for the sport picks himself up and goes and does that. I mean, that finish was absolutely, that's a body shot. In a week when we'll be talking about body shots and low blows, <laughs> that, my friend, is a body shot. That is a legal yeah. body shot, that's yeah. what they. And the, the tactics that Pat put on it, I mean, they were high risk, high reward, but uh, it paid off. <clears throat> what a story Lyndon has and, you know, Lyndon King Arthur, King of the World. Uh, and big fights to come, you know. I mean, uh, very emotional night. Do you feel like, and I suppose you get what you deserve in terms of what you put in, but do you feel like there's an element, element of Lyndon deserving to get his hands on that title tonight? Yeah, I think you look at his story, the way he's come back, uh, his story in life, and it's an amazing story. And tonight... The odd defeat was a, was, was a heavy one for him, that second one. It, it was, and he wasn't in a good place, I don't think, at the time. And, you know, we, we, we were delighted to pick him up because um, we really believe in him um, and he's going to go places from here as I said before that belt's a great bargaining ship to make big fights um, and we got it now so uh, bring them on bring them all on we've got the big fight talk to come in the future we'll let Lyndon kind of soak in his win tonight um, yeah we thought Samuel Antwi and Mason Cartwright would deliver. Fuck me, it delivered. Did they deliver? Did they deliver? It's Fight of the year, uh, contender, definitely. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I have to look it back. At, it was so difficult to score because like, it was. It was you. I was fascinated. In, like, it's a lot of infighting, but infighting in, in a very positive sense. It was, the punches landed on the inside, um, clean shots, uh, back and forth, back and forth. Mason Cartwright kept coming, kept coming, was taking heavy shots throughout. He landed his own heavy shots as well, especially that right hand. Having a lot of success with that. But the finish at the end it was it's not only the punch, I think it was it was he left everything in the ring, you know. It was uh, it was a scary moment. Um, so credit to the doctors straight in there. Mason Cartwright will come again, believe me. Uh, great support here, fantastic crowd from Liverpool. Um, and Sam Antwi, what a, what a finish, what a finish, uh, what a fight, both guys, you know, chapeau, it's great when you see the referee coming into the 12th round, giving that ovation, it was like, he did, you know, he did, we wanted them to stop for a second so he could give an ovation, he did a fantastic job as well, by the way, difficult fight, so, you know, we always moan about refs, but let's give him big credit tonight, difficult fight to ref, he did a fantastic job, fantastic job, because you could, it wasn't too much. It wasn't taking them apart too much because they were they were they were they were holding, but they were landing at the same. Time. It was very it was fascinating to watch. Um, so yeah, I'm, as a promoter, of course, you're delighted when you when when a show works like that. They don't all work like that, you know. Um, but credit to to Nissa, he's a fantastic matchmaker on that. You couldn't have asked for much more tonight. Um, just one more thing. Um, obviously, the big one, really not that far away now. Really not that far away. I mean, yeah, it's tonight. It's tonight. It's tonight. Um, the big one. Right now, first, you know, we've got to celebrate Lyndon's. Uh, Could be a very, good. very good weekend for you. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Let's hope so. No, I mean, it's, it's already flying and 
bit of a Linden after party, a couple of hours sleep, and then we're there, aren't we? You know, the waiting is over. It's been building all week. Um, the fight nights in Manchester, historically, always been special. This one's got it in the air. You saw it the way in today, the face off, you know. How long was it? I was three, four minutes. I had Robert Smith come over and said, please take him apart. I felt like, I was, I think I was, just, I was standing there and, and I was so in the face just watching them. And it's such a, I'm so privileged to be in those face offs because you really, when you're up close with them, it's like, they, and they were so focused. Totally different to yesterday when they're you know, mouthing off with each other and stuff, banter back and forth. They were just so in it. So I think they were, I got, sort of forgot to separate them. And then uh, Robert Smith's come over and said, well, can you part them? And, you know, pop. Julius all went, but Lee, even then Liam was still standing. I'm thinking, how long does he want it going for? <laughs> so, yeah, no, it, lots of stories you can look at before this fight. Lots of different angles. And that's what boxing is. Big fights are about the stories, the angles, the, the different the different opinions people have. But all those opinions, all those stories. And that bell goes tomorrow night. Yeah, it's, uh, they all go out the window, don't they? You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 